I'm really glad to be joined today for the conditioning class. What's going to be today is going to be a whole hour of a work. We're going to do the warm up, the cool down, and in between on those, we're going to do a Tabata as well, somewhere in the middle, and it will be on the floor. Okay, so what you also need here, um, several sets of weights, you've got them, a water bottle, a mat, and enough area to move around in. Okay, so if you've got all those things ready, just bring them on down, get ready to work, and we shall start with the warm up. Okay, little walk through for me. Okay, just up with the arms. Feel that the shoulders are low, bring those arms up, then all the way to the top and pulling it back down. Okay, a little sweep. Keeping the other arms pulled in. I'm going to tip out side to side, a little tip up. Yeah, so again, I'm getting that lift through the shoulders, then over the top. Extend that, but keep the arms pulled in. Yeah. I'm going to sweep it across, sweep it across. But keep those shoulders low and back. Then just with one arm, I'm going to do a circle. Good, just nice and loose. Keep the arms pulled in, keep yourself forward. Okay, lovely. Just coming across. Yeah, then the circle. I'm going to go to step the curl. Step the curl. Yeah, dropping those elbows back. Then up to the knee. Just comes to the front. And I get those elbows to squeeze down into the waist. Back to your leg curl. Leg curl. Yeah, dropping those elbows back. Okay, lovely. Up with the knee. Squeeze back down and in. Okay, we're going to do a wide step here. Little wide step, coming back in. Good, each time. Yeah, I've got four more. Two more. Now I'm going to do that to the front while I just drop my weight down. Drop your weight down. Push it up. Yeah, feel those thighs pushing you back each time and up I'm going to do a squat here with my feet underneath my hips squat up make sure that you've slightly lifted the toes off you're back on your heels and you get me that squeeze all the way to the top and okay it's that forward step but I'm just dropping down with the other leg good do get me the dip Four more. Two more. Okay, well done. Up on your toes. Give me that lift. So I'm not quite doing the jump yet. Just up. Then in. Yeah, I've got another four. Fill that space between the shoulder blades. Over the top. Good, then just the lift out to the side, lifting out. Feel those shoulders waking up. Well done, okay, wide squat. Bring it up, give me that squeeze all the way to the top. When you go back, you've got to remember you've got that nice straight back. Don't roll it over, don't bow. Down and stay, okay, stay. Little bounce here. Okay, so with my Straight back, good. Feet facing forward. And well done. Coming up, let's give that a little march through. Okay, well done. Are we ready to go? So, okay, I'm going to go with my lighter weights first. I'm going to be using a two and a half, and I'm using it on a long lever. So, grab your lighter weights for me, please. Okay, so, one leg. Push back and then again, I'm strong and stable on that. Definitely got my hip and hollow on. Okay, just both arms up, up. Yes, yeah, so they are on long levers. Then I'm going to do a single, single, double. Here we go. So just feel that abs are pulled in. Two. Keep you nice and stable 
on those singles. Good. Give me that lift. In the front of shoulder. Long straight arm. Feel it round the core. One more. One double. And well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, this time I'm going to do a single, but a pullback, a single pullback, double with a pullback. Okay, so I'm here again. Shoulders back and down. Give me that lift. Lift. Now the double. Good, lift. Squeeze it back, but you don't do a turn. Good, up. Pull it back. Feel that those shoulders are under control. They pull back and down. I'm not letting that weight come forward with me. It's not going to bring me forward. Good. Two more times. Now the double. Single, single, double. Now the double. And well done. Okay, lovely. You can put those down. We'll come back to them. And I'm going to go up in weight again. So this time it's going to be a three kilogram weight. Okay, this time I'm just going to be on my shoulders. I'm going to do a squat and lift. Squat. Lift it up. Good. So all those things we spoke about, be on your heels each time. Now up and stay. Okay, put those weights together and lift them over your head. Now try not to lean back, keep your knees soft. Keep those weights together. Good, two more. Go down again, down. Lift it up for me. Good, so if you can, stay with those medium heavy weights. Four. Two more. Lose those glutes to the top. Well done, drop. Then it's my triceps. I've got that lift. Good. I'm keeping steady around the middle with my zip and hollow on. And well done. Okay, lovely, good. I'm going to do single, single, double again, but this time slightly led over. So my weight's on my heels. It's going to be a pull back, single, single, double. Okay, so shoulders back and down. Now double. Let's go double again. Yeah, so again, single, nice and strong. Drive that elbow back. Two doubles. Good. Give me that lift. Nice and strong. Those hands stay close to the body. Good. Up. Doubles. Good. Single. Single. Do two more here, single, single, still check that your abs are pulled in, your back is nice and straight, up and up the hips, towards the shoulders, shoulders are back and down, and good work, well done, okay lovely, putting that down, I'm coming to my heavier weight still, so this is the heaviest I'm using today, four kilogram each arm, Keep it close to my body. Hammer curl. Yeah, it's okay. Just up and touching that shoulder. Going through single, single, double. Single. Single. Two lots of doubles. Double. It's all under control with those abs pulled in. Good. But I'm keeping it on that quite short lever. Up. Yeah, keeping those elbows tucked near the waist. Give me two more here. Good. Give me that bicep curl. A little hammer curl. Good. 
front of shoulder and your bicep. Good, two more, two doubles. And we're there, well done. Okay, lovely. Okay, I'm going down to singles on my heavier weight. Okay, so this one's from the front. Okay, ready? I'm reaching it out to the side. Here. Comes back to that hand each time. Now that hand stays there, so I know that I'm really using my core. I won't throw myself to the side. Good. Eight more. Good. So by the time it's ended, that palm is to the floor. Good. Four more. Two more. And well done. Okay, lovely. Good. Changing that over. Okay, so slightly bent forward, soft to the knees, abs pulled in, hand here. So I know I'm not going to twist. A little bit of bend on the elbow, stay bent. Out. Go, give me that lift. Good. Four more here. Give that single arm lift, yet keep it out of the control. And good work. Okay, well done. And then I'm going to do my Tabata now on the floor. So I'm grabbing another, just another mat here, just so I've got that extra comfort on the floor. Okay, because we're going to be doing quite a lot of contracting. So again, just protect your back when you're on the floor. Okay, so we know it's going to be 45, 15, so here we go. Okay, so 45, 15 on the clock, we're on the floor. My first one, a reverse curl in. So again, my shoulders are quite relaxed. Okay, so we get ready to start. Knees, your legs can be crossed if you want to. Squeeze it in. Yes, yeah, so again. Knees come out to the hips each time. Feel your hips coming off the floor if you can. Get that coccyx off the floor. Don't open up the knees. Remember, keep the knees closed. Good, give me that squeeze. Last few seconds now. Well done. Okay, up. I'm coming up. Touching the inside. If you prefer to keep your hands on your head, you can bring up with the elbow. But make sure your hips do not swing. All the twists is going through your waist. Yeah, through those obliques. Yeah, up and across. Keeping your head forward the whole time. Holding on to it and getting the elbows up. Or just putting that hand behind the head just briefly and the other one goes up to that instep as high as you can get it you're ready to go going into single figures now that last 10 well done okay lovely good one leg across it's going to be coming up hand behind my head elbow to knee and I'm just going to swap it for the other side Okay, so my long abs, bring me up, hand behind my head, and give me that squeeze. Yeah, give me that squeeze. You've gone over halfway now. Remember, do not let the elbow come across the face. It's out and open. Good. 
last few seconds now. Keep it nice and strong. Your hips are locked by that leg position. Good work, well done. Okay, over to the other side. Okay, so I'm trying to keep that nice and open. My foot is on the floor, my head comes up using my long abs, and then I'm over. Good, just have the other arm out of the way. It doesn't need to be back behind your head as well. So again, just cradling that head, not pulling it, just keeping it forward. Give me that squeeze. Good, up and across, getting nice and high, but without that elbow coming across the face. Remember, I think it's the shoulder, you're driving up and across. The elbow just comes up on the end of it. Yeah, can you get that squeeze? On your left oblique, bringing your right up and over. Lovely, good, okay, well done. Okay, this time's gonna be a crunch in. When I crunch in, I'm gonna touch my feet, touch my head, and then go back down. Okay, so your head will be full with no support on it. You can keep the hands there if you want to and hold it, otherwise it's here. Good, and remember as you go down, your head doesn't hit the floor. Good, so getting that long arm out. Keep your head up. Don't open on that chin chest. Last few seconds now. Lovely, good, okay, well done. We are coming down to 30 seconds on each with a 10 second off. Okay, so remember our first one? Reverse curl and in. Okay, so here's my second set, 30 tens. Okay, curling it in. Yeah, still taking my coccyx off the floor, not opening that behind the knee. My second set before I stand back up again. Good, give me that curl in. Lovely, good, okay. Cross legs and up, or just straight legs if you want to. And then, with your hands behind your head the whole time with elbows, or coming up and across. Yeah, 30 seconds this time. So we're still really working those abs. We've done 45s. You now in your single figures on this one, keep your head forward or keep your hands behind your head and do the elbows. Lovely, good. Okay, well done. Down and lift the other. Now for a little bit of extra challenge this time because it's 30 seconds, you can take that other leg off the floor or you can leave it on. I'm leaving it up to you. But remember, do challenge yourself. You're here. You're here to work, which is great. And now, we're getting that challenge. Yeah, give me that squeeze. Right oblique, bring my left elbow up and over. It's working on the end of that shoulder, so don't let the elbow lead it. It's the shoulder, last few seconds now. Good work, well done. Okay, crossing it over. I'm leaving it up to you, on the floor or off. We've only got 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. Good. Give me that squeeze. Good. So remember, it is the shoulder, not the elbow. Coming towards the face. Last few seconds now. And good work, well done. Okay, lovely. 
Okay. The curling, the touch, or if you just want to curl it in, keep holding your head, you can. Okay, here we go. Curling it in. Good. Up. Feel those long abs really working for you now. Last little step before we stand up. Last few seconds before we stand. Three, two, one, and well done. Okay, lovely. We're coming up flat Tabata. We're coming up. We're going to use those weights again, and I'm going to go with my lowest weights first. Exactly the same pattern. I'm going to come up in my weights each time. Put the other man away. Grab a little drink of water if you want to now. Okay, so lovely. We're here. Now again, a long lever because they are quite lightweight. Okay, so straight arm, up, up. Now the double. Good, and again. Lift it up and straight, palms towards the floor as you finish it. Lovely, good. Up. Okay, so those long levers. I've got those lighter weights, two and a halfs. Good. So just use your lighter set for this. that lift. Now the doubles. Well done. This time I'm going to do a squat. Comes up. A punch out with the turn of the hip. Straight. Straight. So still on the long lever. Okay. Ready to go. We're here. Elbows hit your thighs. Okay. Here we go. Here. Lift. Good. Lovely. Up. Long. Good. Down. Give me that lift. And well done. Okay, lovely. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. Straight up with one arm. The turn, the abs pulled in, the long arm. Shoulders back and down though. Okay, ready? Here we go. Squat, lift, turn, bring it back in. Good, so remember, it's all under control. Those long levers, but that lighter weight. Good. Give me that turn on the toe. One more. And well done. Okay, lovely, good. And then we come to our slightly heavier weights. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, so I'm going to do a tricep above my head with the other one coming up underneath. So it works the inside of my tricep. Try not to let the arm roll up. If it does roll up, you'll be using your forearm. Okay, here we go. One's over my head. Okay, drop and lift. Go, so all the time I'm keeping that elbow close to my head. The other one goes down with a straight wrist. So I really think you've locked your wrists. Good, we are halfway there. I am going to do four sets on this side and you've already done two. So you're doing great. Two and a half sets. Here's your last set on this side. Good, 
And well done. Okay, lovely, good. I'll bring down one weight. I'm going to have one weight forward. So you can just put this leg back just a little ways. Just gives you enough room. I'm going to do a lift and then squeeze back in. Single arm lift. Good. Notice that my elbow goes behind my waist. Good, so half is a lap pull. Then those upper back muscles. Pulling it down and in, down and in, extending it. One more. And you're down, well done. Okay, lovely, good. Other arm, other leg. Okay, so it stays facing forward the whole time. Then that elbow tucks behind my waist as it comes down. Okay, ready? Here we go. Up, tuck. Yes, okay. My stability here. Strong stance. Good. Squeezing it. Yeah, one more. Bang, well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, so I've got my triceps on the other side. Inner tricep now on this arm. My traditional triceps on the other arm. Okay, so I'm up. Palm facing backwards. Now lock your wrists. So again, don't be tempted to try and get that higher at the back by lifting up that hand. Lock your wrists. Good. And then again, the other elbow is close to my head each time. Good. Getting that arm back. Halfway now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant, well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, one set of the outs and backs. And again, shoulder, back of shoulder, upper back. Okay, I'm just leaving a little space here. Out. Good. Out. Squeeze it down. And well done. Okay, lovely. Ready to go on the other side. Taking that leg just slightly away. Leaning the little bits forward. That strong stance. This is what's anchoring you. Let that arm do its work with those stabilizing. Good. So again, that elbow coming behind my waist. And well done, good, okay, good work. Okay, I'm going to that heavier weight before we get back onto the floor to do your Tabata. It's just going to be a different Tabata this time. Okay, lovely, good. So, I've got my weights just down by my side, my shoulders rolled back and down. Okay, I'm going to lunge back with one leg. When I'm in that lunge, I lift the same arm, then I lunge back with the other leg. Okay, ready? Stepping back. Drop. Good. 
here. Give me the lift. We're near the lowest part of that lunge. Good, so we've got that long lever whilst you are slightly compromised by staying in that low lunge. Yeah, gonna give me four more. Good, stepping back each time, having your shoulders over your hips. You've got one more. And well done, good, okay, lovely. My last one standing here, this little circuit before I get back on the floor again, is going to be the pullbacks, the upright row. Okay, one facing each other, one facing outwards. Facing each other, outwards. I want you to feel that difference in the upper back. Do that lift. Good, second set. Give me that lift. Give me that lift. Good. Each time. With your abs pulled in, so you know your back is straight. When your arms go down, your shoulders don't go forward. You're not compromised and well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, grab water if you want to. We're gonna get on the floor. But this time we're gonna be facing downwards. Okay, so we have the tag that we had before. I'm gonna do a bird dog on my first one. 45 seconds. I run through five exercises. 45 seconds each and then I go up to 30. Okay, lovely, good. So we're down on the floor. Just have to add my 45 in here. That's it, good. We also get 15 rest. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, so these exercises, again, gonna be about the core rather than the contracting as we did before. Okay, so my elbow's out, it stays out. My leg is long and then the two things come together. Okay. Okay, squeeze it, bring it out. Good, I'm gonna do one side, then the other. Good. So again, you do have to tuck in just slightly. There's a little bit of movement in your lower back. Just on that way in. On the way back out, it stays flat. Into single figures now. And good work, well done. Okay, the other side to do. Core pulled in, shoulders back and down. Leg out, hand behind your head, just by your ear. Okay, so I tuck to come under, and then I'm back out. Give me that little turn as well. Good, these are the longest ones you'll be doing, 45s. Gone over halfway now. Really get me that squeeze. Start to feel it in your obliques as well. Cross the front there to get that elbow to that knee. Good job, everyone. That's it. Keep it going. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, well done. Okay, lovely. On this one, I'm going to come into pike, into bridge with my knee coming across. So still on my obliques. Okay, so, my pike, okay, so, here, into my pike, 
into my bridge so I don't have to prop it down. My weight goes over both of those arms and really get a squeeze through on that other leg. Again, squeeze it through. up, coming across. Lovely, good. Okay, on my next one, I'm going to bring that, el that knee out to my elbow at the side. So this time, it's travelling out to the same side. Okay, give me that squeeze over the waist. Try and keep your weight on both arms. If you're feeling very confident, you can take that other hand off and release really test your core. Good. Yeah, work is building up on this arm as well. If you've chosen to go with one arm, good work. In your last 10 seconds now, here we go, 10. Yeah, give that squeeze. Feel it over your obliques. Front and back of waist. Good work, well done. Same thing on the other side, you can be on two hands, you can be on one hand. Then we're dropping down to 30 on these. Okay, ready? Here, zip and hollow definitely on. Okay, so I can go with my first few using two hands, but get ready to keep most weight on that other hand. Okay, so you want to keep your shoulders level, it's best to keep your palm facing up and then back to your fingers can really feel those glutes working for you. Over halfway now, really give me that squeeze, knee out to the side. Good, my back does not change angle at all. I can feel it underneath my fingers, staying exactly as it is the whole time. A few seconds left. And good work, well done. Okay, lovely. I'm bringing it down to 30. So 30 tens, exactly as we did before. Just a little bit shorter on the rest and on the work. Okay, lovely, good. So I had the bird dog. Okay, so elbow nice and wide, just fingertips on your ears, squeeze it for me. Good, 10 seconds already done now. You are now halfway. Really feel it on those obliques coming across the body there. With your zip and hollow on, keep me nice and steady. Well done, okay, lovely, good. Only 10 seconds rest this time, so I have to get ready to go. Other leg, hips stay towards the floor, and squeeze across and out. Good, let me give me that squeeze. Come back up, feel that you're nice and straight. Five to go. Good work, well done. Pike to bridge, bringing that knee across. On both hands, shoulders, I'm up high. Okay, I come down and across. Yeah, pushing my weight up and back. So I'm using those shoulders, using the pegs as I come down, and then the obliques. Get my knee across. Into single figures now. Good job, everyone. You're doing great. Stop with that. 30 seconds. Lovely, good. Then I'm on all fours. Leg out. 
squeezing it around using your obliques. But your trans abs, keep your hips to the front. No turning on that other knee. Now if you want to, here's where you can lift that other arm off. Work and weight goes through this one arm that's keeping you supported. Then my glutes kick back, obliques to come in. Yeah, well done, how are we doing? <laughs> okay, the other leg. Okay, give me that squeeze. Round to the side. Remember, your hips themselves aren't turning. And then the other arm up. And then just onto your lower back. Fingertips on my glutes so I can feel them working. And then I know that my core is working for me because my back is not changing angle. It's that knee coming round to the side. So I have to use my obliques to get there. And good work. Well done. We're coming off that Tabata. Lovely. Good. We come to standing. Okay, so I'm going with my longer lever again and my light weights. That's where I'm starting. Okay, so I'm going to do a squat, punch, punch across, squat, lift, lift, punch, straight out. Across is up, straight forwards. Okay, so no timer. Just ourselves, okay? Four, three, two, one. Good, so again. You are working quite fast. So, don't let those weights take them with you. Feel the work in the core. Yeah, it's quite aerobic, it's fast, and it's using your arms and legs at the same time. Good, across. Okay, coming up. Oh, I'm ignoring that. Good, keep it going. Across, across. Up, up. And forward, forward. Good. This is where you know it's live. Okay, up, up. Forward, forward, across, across, good, up, up, good. I'm going to do one more of each. And good work, well done. It's okay, quite strong. On that aerobic section. Okay, lovely. Just give you a little bit of a water break here. Okay, well done. We're ready to go. Okay, so my threes. Okay, this time I'm going to do a plie with my legs. So remember the plie is you're stepping it out. And then just on my here, just on my shoulder. Not quite on my shoulder, front of my shoulder. Okay, stay down in your plie, stay down. Good, so my little bounce, and as you look over your thighs, you cannot see your toes, so don't have your knees in here. Make sure they're out. Okay, well done. Lift. And I slightly come over, but I hold my plie the whole time. My plie squat. Okay, change arms. Good, so okay. Keeping in your plie. Well done, come up, give it a little roll. Feel those hip flexors. Just thanking you for that little roll. Well done, I'm down again. I'm gonna do a little pulse. So again, I'm just checking that my knees are out far enough. Hold it for me. Okay, lovely, good. A lift with one, and a drop behind. To 
about the side of your calf. Change it. Good. Keep on checking your plie because there's a chance that I might have done this. Stay low. And well done. Come up, give a little roll round. Okay, lovely. This time I'm picking up my heavier weight. My last one standing. And I'm going to do that curtsy. Weight comes over your head. Okay, so I'm curtsying down. Good, up and over. Stay over on this side. Good. Give me that lift. Make sure you are in that curtsy, that back leg bent. Remember, it's not right behind this one, it is over. Well done. Change it over into that curtsy lunge. Give me that lift. Okay, let's do eight from here. Eight. Another four, four, three, two, one, and well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, well done. We're getting on the floor for our last part of our section. It is a Tabata. I'm going to do the 45 15 again, but this time only three, just so we get time to do everything as we want. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, so we're back to 45-15s. I'm just going to add that work to it. 45, but also adding to your rest. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, so, leg down. I'm going to come up and down, and remember, it's about the shoulder as well. So if you want to hold on to it, it should not be doing this when the shoulder moves. What starts on the double leg do? I'm going to give it a go, see if I can last 45 seconds, up and down in that bridge. Okay, so I'm out, I'm strong, I'm up, good, so nothing too fast, good, less than 30 now. Remember that bottom leg can be bent. That work is really building up on my blink on this side. Good, less than 15 now. You are doing great. Good. Really talk to yourself. Get that through that. I know it's tough. Five, three, two, one. Well done. I am using that same side. I'm going to be lying on my back. And my heels are around to the side. I'm on my shoulder one hip. And that oblique this time, squeezing to get my hand up to that toe. Yes, give me that squeeze. Right over that waistband where we've just done the work. Remember that squeeze. Only three exercises on this side, three exercises on the other side, and then you're done. No dropping it down to 30. 45. So if you can, work all the way through it. You're only doing this once. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, butterfly legs. Still this side, and then I'm going to change it over to the other side. Head off the floor, hand behind your head, once your calf, once your knee. Again with this side, the one that was down on the floor, the one that's just touched your toe. Good, so again, I'm going to squeeze here, then the up and over there. Try and keep your shoulders pretty much free of the floor, so those long abs working for you the whole time. Good. 
good. We're almost halfway through this last section now. Just the other side to do. Good work, well done. Okay, lovely. On to your other side. Straight or with that bottom leg bent. Good, okay. Let's bring that music back a little bit. Good. Okay, so we are on the other side. You're now back on your timer. Straight or bottom leg bent. Okay, well start straight and then go on to the bottom leg bend. But remember, whatever you're doing, this shoulder stays nice and strong and still. Good. Because all my push has to be through my obliques and the outside of that thigh. Okay, well done. 20 seconds left now, you've done 25. Good. That's it, good. So you're really pleased with yourself, you're especially doing that straight leg all the way through. Good. Ten. It's tough, I know. Right there with you. Three, two, one. Woo, well done. Okay, so now around to this side. Same one that was underneath, so one that's touching that toe. Okay, so come up, I'm on one shoulder, one here, and squeeze it. Yeah, give me that squeeze. Feeling it out over that oblique, front and back, and those heels really coming around to the side, and lots of little other actions from other muscles around your core to keep you stabilised. Lovely, good. Our last 45 seconds. Okay, so butterfly legs, long abs bring you up, down to your calf over to your knee and this is the last 45 seconds okay well done squeeze up and over good give me that squeeze right over the waist front and back that squeeze going you're in your last 10 seconds now guys keep it going keep up with those shoulders keep them off the floor give me that squeeze and good work well done that timer comes off brilliant work well done okay just give me a long stretch out for me please long stretch out okay good just those last few minutes now just get that long stretch out along the floor and reaching up and really feel that there's that rib cage is up and out. Should feel really nice of that stretch. My back is off the floor on there, on my back of my waistband there is off the floor because I've reached up with my arms, down with my feet, down with my toes, up with my fingers, all the way there. And okay, then start to pull it in. So again, the angle of the my tops of my legs and the tops of my arms change. I bring my hands up to the top and then I push them down. Push them down, pushing your shoulders down away from your ears and then just let it relax as you get to the floor. Put one foot on the floor then the other foot on and coming up and I'm doing that hamstring stretch first. Okay, so just that hamstring stretch. Slowly start to pull it in. Try and keep your hip on the floor as straight or as straight as you can so you can feel that hamstring stretch going into your glute there. Okay, lovely, then I'm gonna bring it across, 
and this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring my hands out to the side, drop my legs over to the side, trying to keep the same elbow, sorry, the same shoulder to the knee that's gone across on the floor, and then walk that up. So it walks and walks and walks until that crossed over leg is very near your chest, and then again, give it another little pull down and in. Just pulling it down, getting the most out of that hamstring stretch, that glute stretch, shall I say. Glute stretch. You might be stretching your hamstrings as well a little bit. Okay, lovely, good. A few more seconds. Okay, now I've relaxed that off. It comes down, the other leg comes up, and I slowly start to pull it in. Lovely, pulling it in again. If I just feel like I can get a few more inches on that stretch. Okay, lovely. And I'm bringing it across. Shoulders down the floor, that shoulder stays on the floor. And I walk my feet up. That's it, just ratchet, ratchet, ratchet until it's come right up top. But I still want to keep that my, that my, check, that my um, ankle is straight. It hasn't sort of collapsed into my thigh. Okay, and then just bringing that hand down on top and hugging it into your chest. Okay, lovely, coming into the middle. Into the middle, put your leg up, hold on to it nice and tight, abs pulled in, leg goes down, you come up, come over onto your front, and I'm going to do that cat cow stretch. So pushing it back, dropping through your elbows, and then zip and tip and come up. So make it one nice movement all the way down, collapse between the shoulder blades, pushing it back, zip and tip and come up. Go okay, back down. One more of each. Okay, lovely, and then back down into neutral. I'm going to come up into my downward dog. And remember, you can put your feet out slightly wider than your mat. If you feel a little bit stiff on those backs and the legs, this just eases you in, just a little bit easier there to just get back onto your heels. And now feel it's the upper back stretch as well by really pushing your heels of your palms into the floor. And that's it, all that weight goes back over your heels. Okay, you come up onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees, walk the hands back, drop your head down and then unroll with the weight of your head and the weight of your shoulders being the last thing that come up. Okay, we get up to the top, we give that little bit of a roll around. Okay, lovely. Hands just on the lower back there and then squeezing those elbows together. Shoulders get to squeeze together, chest gets to open out. Okay, lovely. Now I'm going to do a little reach up with both arms, a little bit over to the side, a little bit over to the side, just like big palm, just swaying. Well, that's it, good. Just on that top half, over to the side, and over to the side. Okay, lovely, now I'm going to come forward and it's going to be a straight back at this point here. So really keep your zip and hollow on, drop it down, and now push your hands down towards your feet and really feel that stretch between the shoulder blades. Okay, lovely, bend the knees and then come up just nice and slowly. Get a little reach up on one side, a little reach up on the other. One side. Then the other, and then feel like you're growing nice and tall each time, really reaching up. You're just getting that thing that's just slightly out of reach. We've got that zip and hollow on, so you're nice and protected. Good, okay, well done. And I'm just gonna open and close the arms, just with the thumbs up, that's it, good. Four, three, two, one, and I'm just gonna give it a little shake off. Okay, very well done today, especially if you've done all of those exercises all the way through. Good work, especially the 45 seconds. It's a long time to be doing anything. So really feel pleased with yourself that you have completed that. And again, I hope to see you next time. Okay, all right, bye-bye for now.